Hi guys, it's Jess and it's been a while. I'm very sorry about that. Um, but welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Thank you very much for stopping by. Um, I am back, surprise surprise, with another book haul. <laughs> So over the last month or so, I have acquired a few more books. Um, I went to London last week at the time of filming this video. When this video goes up, it would have been a couple of weeks ago. Um, but yes, I went to London with my boyfriend. It was our first trip away together on our own for quite a while and it was very nice. I had such a great time, but of course, I came back with a few readerly goodies. Um, I had some pre-orders come through and then I also did a little bit of charity shopping. So we're going to start with the books that I got from the charity shops. Um, I have four charity shops in my village and I like to walk down and just have a browse every now and then. And it's always really hit and miss because they will either have lots of books that I really want to read or they won't have anything that interests me at all um, but on this particular trip towards like the end of July I think was when I went um, they actually had a really good selection of books and I found some books that I would like to read. So the first three books that I have here are books that are from uh, the RSPCA uh, shop um, and they had The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty um, and it says it's the most terrifying novel ever written. Um, so everyone's heard of The Exorcist, uh, it's a very popular horror film. I actually haven't seen the film because I am very much a chicken when it comes to horror films um, but I do want to watch it eventually I'm gonna have to pluck up the courage um, but I would like to read the book um, so I don't really know too much about The Exorcist but I know that it follows like a priest who is performing an exorcism something like that uh, like a demonic presence within a child or something um and that just sounds really really cool um but yeah i was very pleasantly surprised when i found this one um it's not in the best of conditions but you know i'm not gonna let that deter me oh that's pretty that is gorgeous um but yeah i'm not gonna let that deter me um i'm probably gonna be reading this around halloween time um or in the next couple of months um, so keep an eye out for that. I might do a reading vlog on it, um, just because I want to. Um, but yes, I'm very excited to get to this one. Another book that I picked up was Echo Boy by Matt Haig. Um, and you guys know how much I love Matt Haig. I've read most of his works, but I know there are still some things um, that I haven't picked up, mostly um, his children's books and things like that. I think this is YA. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is young adult. Um, I know that it is a sci-fi. Um, I have heard about this one, but I haven't seen it that much online. It's not one that people typically tend to read um, when they're delving into Matt Haig's stuff. I know there is a boy in it called Daniel who is an echo. Um, I don't really know what an echo is, um, but there's this girl called Audrey as well, and I think there's a bit of a love story going on. I'm not really sure, but I think I will enjoy it. I pretty much enjoy everything Matt Haig has written, um, and I always think he has really cool concepts and ideas, so I was very surprised to find this one. And then from the same shop, the last book that I picked up was 127 Hours Between a Rock and a Hard Place by Aaron Ralston. Um, so this is the guy that uh, got stuck between... Uh, he, he fell into like a crevice and his arm got trapped between two boulders or a boulder and like the wall face or something and he had to like cut his arm off to escape um, and I'm very aware of this story I have not seen the film because it came out when I was like in school I think I think I was just like coming towards the end of secondary school 
um, and yeah, it just didn't sound like something I would want to watch. Um, but I picked this up on a whim because, yeah, it sounds like a very interesting story. I can't ever imagine having to go through something like that. So the next two books that I picked up were from the Loras shop down the street. Um, and these are books that I have been wanting to read for quite a while and I do have the first book in the series um, and those books are The White Queen and The Red Queen uh, by Philippa Gregory. Um, I have The Lady of the Rivers which is the first book in this series already and then I've got books two and three. I have been wanting to read The Lady of the Rivers for quite a while now and I am planning to read it very soon. Um, so now that I have the next two books in the series I think I'm going to binge all three of them in one go. I have read The White Queen before. Um, I read it years ago because it was adapted into a TV show which I really enjoyed. Um, so I know I'm going to enjoy these a lot. Um, it is just about um, the War of the Roses. So it's set before the Tudors, um, before Henry VIII, um, and it features uh, figures like uh, Richard III and Henry Tudor um, and Elizabeth Woodville and all of that. You know, there's the war between House Lancaster and House York. Um, and yeah, that's a period of history that I find very interesting. So I was really happy to find these and yeah, they were like a pound each. So what more could I ask for? So now I'm gonna move on to the pre-orders. Um, and I have two. I have been doing a lot of pre-ordering recently because there have been a lot of really cool titles that I didn't want to miss. Um, and both of these books are signed editions. The first one that came through was How to Kill Your Family by Bella Mackey. Um, I've seen this around quite a lot on Instagram um, and people seem to be really enjoying it. Um, on the back it says, meet Grace Bernard, daughter, sister, colleague, friend, serial killer. Grace has lost everything and now she wants revenge. Um, so it sounds like something I would enjoy very much. I love the black sprayed edges. I just think this book is just so gorgeous. I mean, look at that. It is just beautiful. Um, and yeah, so I'm very happy with this purchase. And then the next pre-order that came through was Crying in H Mart by Michelle Zorna. Um, so this is another book that I have seen everywhere. Um, and I pre-ordered the signed copy. Um, and this is a memoir. She's Asian American and uh, she talks a lot about uh, what it's like to grow up mixed race. Um, Korean food and uh, mother's death because of cancer. Um, I feel like it's going to be a very interesting read. I've heard absolutely incredible things about it. Um, it's just going to be a different viewpoint to something that I have experienced. I've never read anything like this before. I think it's going to be quite emotional and quite informative. And again, it's an absolutely stunning cover. Um, so yeah, very happy with this one. All right, guys. So now we're going to move on to the books that I bought in London. And we have quite a few of them. I went to London with one book and my Kindle. And I ended up coming back with seven extra books in my bag. And oh my gosh, it was difficult to carry that bag around everywhere while we were waiting for the bus home. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. I was always going to come back with a book or two or seven. Um, but yeah, London was really good. We did a lot of really cool things. We went to uh, the Victoria and Albert Museum, which is one of my favourite museums in London, one of my favourite places 
to go. My boyfriend had never been, so I really wanted to show him. And it is an absolutely massive building. They have like 145 galleries or something. There's just so much to see. There is something for everyone in there. And even I saw something different. I've been to the V&A three times now, and I still don't think I've seen everything. And I see something different every time I go. But I picked up two books from the v and um, I've never actually bought anything from their shop, um, but they have some amazing merchandise and gifts and things. But they also had a really good selection of books. Most of the books were non-fiction and most of them were pertaining to things like art and photography and history, um, fashion, but they did have some fiction books as well. They were mainly like literary fiction. Like I know they had Girl, Woman, Other on sale. Um, but I picked up some non-fiction books. And the first one that I picked up is Ways of Seeing by John Berger. Um, so this is a book that I have never heard of, but I feel like I should have because I think this would have helped me massively during my studies at university. So this is all about art criticism and how you can pick apart paintings and photographs, pieces of art, to kind of find the meaning behind them, what the artist is trying to say and things like that. Um, and apparently this changed the way that people think about painting and art criticism. This watershed work shows through word and image how what we see is always influenced by a whole host of assumptions concerning the nature of beauty, truth, civilization, form, taste, class and gender. Exploring the layers of meaning within oil paintings, photographs and graphic art, Berger argues that when we see, we are not just looking, we are reading the language of the images. and. That sounds really interesting and it is something that I did do at university. I did a little bit of it in college as well, but mainly in university when it came to like uh, critical thinking and writing essays on pieces of art and certain photographers' work and things like that when we really had to delve into their image making and why they were doing it and what they're trying to say and stuff like that. I kind of know a little bit about it, but I feel like this book is gonna be really informative and gonna give me some knowledge that I don't have, uh, that I probably wished I would have had back at uni. So that was a nice little find. And then the second book that I picked up from the V&A is The Argonauts by Maggie Nelson. So firstly, can we appreciate this cover? It is absolutely gorgeous. Everyone knows I love a good pink, blue, purple book cover. Um, so I was instantly drawn to this. Um, I have seen this online actually quite a few times, but it definitely isn't something that I would normally pick up. Um, but this is a memoir um, and uh, it's a love story between Maggie Nelson and artist Harry Dodge who is fluidly gendered. As Nelson undergoes the transformations of pregnancy, she explores the challenges and complexities of mothering and queer family making. Um, so it sounds very interesting. Like I said, not something I would normally pick up, um, but I just wanted to give it a go and it's a relatively short book. Um, and yeah, I think I'm gonna get something from it. It's also written in a very interesting way. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm keen to see what this one is all about. And I also got some really cute bookmarks, uh, from the V&A as well. Uh, these are, I think they're Alice in Wonderland themed. Yes, because they had an Alice in Wonderland exhibition on, which I didn't go to because you had to pay. Um, but yeah, they're really cute. So the next three books I picked up from... Forbidden Planet. So Forbidden Planet is a very nerdy store. Um, they have a lot of uh, really cool nerdy things like Marvel merchandise, Star Wars, Doctor Who, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and 
We have a Forbidden Planet here in Leicester. It's quite a tiny store, but it's still really cool. I still recommend you going if you ever visit Leicester and you like nerdy stuff, go to Forbidden Planet. Um, but the one in London is a lot bigger and I went years and years ago and I've always wanted to take my boyfriend. I took him, he loved it. We literally could have spent hours in there. But you walk in and on the first floor, the ground floor, they have, you know, all of the nerdy merchandise, action figures, t-shirts and stuff like that. And then if you go down into the basement, they have a whole section um, dedicated to books and graphic novels. So of course, I spent a lot of time in the book section um, and they mainly sell th things like sci-fi and horror. Um, that's normally what is there, but occasionally you could find a couple of thrillers and things like that. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with my purchases from there. The first one that I picked up is The Fires of Vengeance by Evan Winter. So I have the first book in the Burning series, um, The Rage of Dragons, which I was gifted to for my birthday. Um, so this is the second book I still need to read. Rage of Dragons, um, because I have heard incredible things about it. I've heard incredible things about Evan Winter and his writing in general, so I feel like I'm going to love it. I haven't read the back of this because it is going to spoil the first book for me, but now that I have this one as well, I can binge the first two books in one go and just experience the story um, in full, I guess. I don't know, is there another book? I don't know if there is another book, there might be, um, but yeah, I'm excited for this one and I love how floppy it is as well. <laughs> and then the second book that I picked up is Gamora and Nebula, Sisters in Arms um, by Mackenzie Lee. So Mackenzie Lee wrote um, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I've not read that one, but I have read This Monstrous Thing. Um, and I've also read Loki Where Mischief Lies, so she teamed up with Marvel to write some books about Marvel anti-heroes. I think she's doing three, so this is the second one. Loki was the first, and I really, really enjoyed that book. That was a YA-inspired um, book about Loki's life when he was younger and some of the things he got up to, and I'm figuring that this one is the same about Gamora and Nebula. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. I didn't realise there was a paperback version yet because I know it's only just come out um, and I thought it was only in hardback, but I haven't been able to get a copy of it anywhere. Like my local Waterstones do not have it um, and it's just been really hard to get hold of. So I was really impressed when I found it. I mean, it's not really a surprise in Forbidden Planet, but I was super happy with it. And I love the paperback as well, but I might try and get the hardback version at some point because I have Loki in hardback. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. I love Gamora. I love Nebula. They're both great characters in the MCU. Um, so I know I'm going to enjoy this one. And then lastly, I picked up Night Bitch by Rachel Yoda, I think it's Yoda or Yoda, but it's not double D, so I think it's Yoda. Um, but this is a book that has been on my radar for quite a while actually. I knew about it before it came out, I've been anticipating its release for so long. Um, I think this is about a woman who is a werewolf and the main theme of it is motherhood. Um, and again, it's not something that I would normally pick up, but there's just something about it that really, really draws me in. I love this cover. Um, I love the little whippet grey hat. I think it's, it's either a whippet or a greyhound, but greyhounds and whippets are like my favourite dogs in the world. Um, so, of course I had to have it. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I'm very interested in this one. I have heard a few mixed things about it. It's a book that you're either going to love or hate, and hopefully I love it. Um, but yeah, super happy to finally have this. So the last two books that I picked up 
were from Daunt Books. Um, I went to the bookstore on Marylebone High Street. They have a few stores dotted around London and then a couple in other parts of the UK. Um, but this one I believe is one of the most popular bookstores in London um, and I've seen it online quite a lot. It is very popular with readers. I've seen it on Bookstagram everywhere and it's not a surprise really because it is an absolutely stunning bookshop. Like I walked in and I was blown away with how pretty it was but I've always wanted to go so of course I had to have a visit um, and what I love about Daunt Books is that a lot of their books are categorised into countries so you'll have a section for Asia, Southeast Asia, um, Africa, Western Africa, Eastern Africa, you know o Oceania so like Australia and New Zealand, you've got Europe and it's a great way for you to find more diverse books. Um, and I was straight down there into the Japanese uh, section of fiction because I really want to read more Japanese fiction. Um, and I got two books that have been on my TBR for quite a while. So the first one is Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi. Um, so this is a really popular book and I've heard incredible things about it. Uh, it's just about these people in the cafe who um, time travel, they go back in time but they only have until their coffee gets cold and I think they go back to try and like change something that's happened in the past or something or you know change a regret or I don't really know what it is but it just sounds like a really interesting concept and I just love the way that Japanese authors get into the human mind and everything just is just so beautiful and so it feels so real when I read it so I'm just really really excited to get to this one. And then the last book that I picked up is another piece of Japanese fiction. Um, and that is The Memory Police by Yoko Agawa. Um, and this one is giving me massive 1984 vibes. That's what I get from it. Um, and I think it's set in like a totalitarianism, I can't say it, totalitarianism, totalitarianism state something like that i can't say that word um, and i don't really know what the memory police are but i guess it's kind of like in 1984 where if you think something bad or you remember something bad you get arrested i have absolutely no idea um but it follows a young novelist who discovers that her editor is in danger of being taken away by the memory police um, and she wants to save him essentially and it just sounds really cool. Um, this is another one that I have heard absolutely incredible things about. I've seen it everywhere online and I feel like I'm missing out. So yeah, very happy with both of these purchases. All right, so we reached the end of the book haul. Those are all of the books that I have acquired in the last month or so. Um, and I'm so excited to get to all of them. I say that all of the time. But, you know, it's true. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books I have mentioned in today's video and what you thought of them. If there are any that you think I should prioritise ASAP because you thought they were absolutely amazing, I would love to know. Um, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. And I will be back to a regular uh, upload schedule from now on. I've had a little bit of a break. I feel refreshed and I'm ready to go and make some more videos for you guys. So I will now be uploading new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Um, so please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel so you can see those videos from me in the future. Hit the bell button as well so you'll be notified every time I upload and I will see you all in my next video very soon. Bye guys.